Nice, this is it. We've got our path here. Uh, I'm gonna be trying just riding back and forth here. And this log is maybe like 30 centimeters high. Now we could try to do a just a bunny hop over this uh, log without jumping, uh, getting off the bike. But in cyclocross, um, these obstacles usually are so high um, that uh, jumping over those uh, obstacles on the bike is quite energy consuming and it might also be risky. If you look at uh, the latest um, world championships in cyclocross, you can see some top riders using a lot of time, even maybe some position during the racing because they were trying to uh, just use bunny hop uh, technique uh, to go over them. So now I will show you uh, just once how we should not do it and then each time I'm gonna go over this uh, lock I'm gonna show you uh, how I am improving myself in this technique. All right, so we shouldn't just stop, jump and then get on the bike like this. So as you can see, you can really get tired by going through these obstacles and in cyclocross racing that should be usually a set of uh, such small jumps here. What I was trying to show you is that we should not use the brakes, we should not stop or, or slow down, but just try to keep the momentum while we are uh, riding the bike and then uh, jumping over the log and then uh, getting on the bike again. If we don't get on the saddle properly, this could be quite painful for us, uh, both for men and women. So when you're just starting uh, using this technique, try to get on the saddle, just on the inside of your thigh, just like this, not directly uh, as you would like to, to sit on. And also at this moment, when you're just getting on the saddle, you should move your feet, both feet, uh, suddenly uh, downwards so that uh, you are just you are just uh, lowering the weight of of your body getting on the saddle and that won't be painful at all if you if you look at those cyclocross riders uh, experienced one they will be doing it very very smoothly and I'm gonna try maybe 10 or 15 uh, repeats in order to train this technique for myself as well So, something like that, the smoother, the better. You will be getting tired by doing such training, technique training sessions, but it's really worth it. And also you've probably noticed that when I'm approaching the obstacle, I'm already only with my one leg, clicked, still clicked into my pedal, and the other leg is already on the same side of the bike. And just before, the obstacle I'm um, getting completely off the bike and then I'm ready to jump over the obstacle so let's try to do it together keeping the momentum keeping the momentum not using the brakes all right approaching hop and hop ready break so that's it. I hope it was at least a little bit hel helpful for you uh, guys. Now you just repeat and repeat. As you gain experience in this technique, you will be actually noticing that you save a lot of time and energy by getting off and on the bike rather than just try to stay on the bike. All right, the rain is coming. I'm gonna do some more repeats and then we'll just get back home. See you soon, bye. <laughs>